Why, hello there, how's it going? My name is Brian, and today I would like to share a little something I learned a little while back that I've really been enjoying using and sharing with my friends and family members. As you know from the title of the video, what we're going to be talking about is how to cast Google Play Movies to your TV without having to use a Chromecast. Before getting started, just to avoid any kind of confusion whatsoever, I should mention that for what I'm going to show you in this video to work, you're going to need to make sure that the device you're casting from, uh, most likely your smartphone or tablet, and the device you're going to be casting to, uh, most likely your smart TV or a video game console or something, uh, you need to make sure that both those devices are connected to your home network. Now, I know that most of you probably already understand this, and I don't know if I really needed to mention it or not, but I just wanted to make sure that uh, there's no confusion and that we're all starting out on the same page. So as you may already know, Google has made it super easy to cast movies and TV shows from your smartphone or other device to your TV. So long as you have a Chromecast, you simply open the Google Play Movies and TV app, tap the little cast icon in the upper right hand corner of your screen, select your Chromecast from the little drop down pop up list thingy. Then select the movie or TV show you want to watch and hit play. Your media will then begin playing on your TV through the Chromecast. Now for the reason you're here watching this video today. There is an equally simple way to cast your Google Play library to your TV without having a Chromecast. You will need to have a smart TV with the YouTube app on it or some other device connected to your TV that has the YouTube app on it for this to work. I have an Xbox One hooked up to the main TV in my house, so I'm going to begin this tutorial there. Instead of going into the Google Play Movies and TV app on your phone or tablet or whatever device you're using, open the YouTube app. Now since my Xbox One is already powered on and connected to my network, that familiar little cast icon will be available near the top of my screen. I tap that icon and the list pops up prompting me to select what device I want to cast to and in this case I select Xbox System OS which is my Xbox One and you can see the YouTube app opening on my TV. Now this is where things are a little different than on the Google Play Movies app. You then need to tap on the profile icon which is the little head and shoulders looking picture over here. You will then see an option on the list that comes up called Purchases. Tap that and voila! All of your Google Play movies and TV purchases will be listed right here. You then select what you want to watch and then push play. And that was a little treat for those of you that grew up in the 90s that uh, just might remember that song. After getting this to work on my Xbox One, I wanted to check and see if it would work on other devices as well. I had to go around to a few different family members and friends houses to do it, but I was able to test it out on several different devices and I'm happy to report this method worked on all of them. I tried it on the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, as well as on a TiVo that my cousin has. The only difference that I really found was on some of the devices like my Xbox One and my cousin's TiVo, they showed up on the list of available devices as long as they were powered on and attached to the network. The Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4 on the other hand didn't show up on the list of available devices to cast to until I opened the YouTube app on that device. 
Unfortunately, I am not able to test every single smart TV, uh, Blu-ray player, and every other device out there to see if, whether or not this works on all of them. But from the tests that I did, it leads me to believe that this method of casting movies will work uh, so long as the device that you're casting to has the YouTube app installed on it. So if you have a device other than one of the ones that I tested in this video, uh, give it a try and then let me know in the comments whether or not it worked for you. And one last time I'd just like to reiterate that if you go to try this and your device doesn't show up right away on the list of available devices to cast to, then try opening the YouTube app on that device and see if it will then show up on the list and allow you to cast to it. So one of the things that I think is really cool about this is it allows your friends to be able to share their movies with you. Just like in the old days when your friend would buy a movie on DVD, or the really, really old days on VHS, and then bring it over to your house to watch, they can bring their digital movies over to watch as well. All you need to do is get them connected to your Wi-Fi, and then follow the steps shown in this video, and you're good to go. I certainly hope that you have enjoyed watching this video, and I hope that this method of casting Google Play movies to your TV works just as well for you on the devices you have in your home as it did for me on the devices that I was able to test it out on. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, for watching the video. Please click that thumbs up button on your way out and let, show me how much you liked it. If you have a question for me or just, you know, we want to say hello, feel free to throw it in the comments section. I always enjoy uh, seeing what you guys have to say there and uh, interacting with you from time to time. If you're one of those people that watched the video all the way through to the end and you're still here hanging out right now and you didn't like it, then by all means you can hit that thumbs down button and leave a comment in the comment section to tell me what it was that you didn't like about the video and maybe something I could do better to try to improve videos that I make in the future. But most likely the reason that you're still here is because you enjoyed what you saw so I would ask you to please consider subscribing to my channel if you are not already. And once again, thank you so much for hanging out with me and for watching the video. I hope that you have a great day. We'll see you next time.